third in the creational patterns which is the singleton pattern is the most famous of all the design patterns i guess what the singleton pattern does is very clear from its name it's a singleton there can only be a one instance so for a singleton at any point in time there can only be one instance i mean a real good real world comparison would be probably a president of country there can only be one president for a country at a particular point in time just like that there can only be one instance of a singleton object however there's a disclaimer actually when we say something is a singleton it's actually one instance per jvm so let's say if i have an application which is running as part of a cluster in multiple application servers then you would have one instance in each of the application servers in that cluster so to be really specific singletons are actually one instance per jvm for the rest of the discussion we'll kind of talk as if it's only one instance can exist so a class of which only a single instance can exist that's your singleton there are a few things that you need to remember when you would create a singleton object the first one is your constructor should be private because you don't want others to create the object i mean if you leave a public constructor then what would happen if anybody can construct the object and then you don't really have a singleton so you have a private constructor the best way to build a, a singleton in java is using an enum it is recommended in the book effective java as well you can find a sample singleton using enum on the github repository it's very very simple to use a enum to build a singleton all that you need to do is create an instance make your constructor private as usual and then you can create the methods which can be called so this would be my singleton using enum dot instance dot retrieve something so it's as simple as that and if you're using je7 there is a built in at singleton annotation so you can probably check that out okay now we have talked so much about singleton but are there any disadvantages yes 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 singleton makes it very difficult to unit test so if you have a lot of singletons in your application this application would be really really difficult to unit test make a clear decision as to where you want to use this singletons and where you don't the last thing we want to talk about is the fact that in frameworks like spring we manage beans and these beans are singleton by default but what spring does very well is the fact that these beans don't need to be declared as singletons i mean if you look at the code for these particular beans you will not realize that they are singletons this is kind of taken care by spring in the background if this technical discussion sounds little complex to you don't worry about it all that you need to know is a singleton is something of which there can only be one instance thanks for joining more than a million students who are learning from us at in 28 minutes we defined a learning road map for java and front end developers we created more than 25 courses covering all the topics that you are seeing on the screen there are four things you can do to make best use of these courses number 1 is udemy you will find a link in the description of the video to our udemy profile we are teaching a lot of courses on udemy and most of them are free number 2 visit our website www.in28minutes.com you'd find tons of information including how you can register for our trainings and the link to udemy and our github code as well number 3 visit our github repository with more than 20 repositories covering varied examples It's a comprehensive source of information and code. Last but not the least, you'll find a set of discount codes for all our Udemy courses in the description as well. Feel free to use them. Good luck from the team here at In 28 Minutes, your destination for high-quality step-by-step -step courses.